when you're looking at just pretty much everything, you can start to see these little black eyeballs. <laughs> However, on LSD, unlike DMT, the contrast gets turned just way up. Hello to all of you guys who live inside of my camera that I have to pretend that I'm talking to right now so that I don't feel like I'm sitting alone in this disgusting basement just talking to myself and drinking coffee. Before we begin, I need to make it absolutely clear that I am making this video for educational purposes. I know, big shocker there, right? According to YouTube's own community guidelines shown here, videos which intend to educate which do not glorify substance use are generally suitable for advertising. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs. It is also not graphic since it does not show the consumption of any illegal substances or legal substances. The following video is strictly educational. And I'm also making this video to help reduce the amount of harm or potential harm that could be caused by either of these two drugs so that people watching can understand just how powerful and dangerous they have the potential to be. How do the visuals compare and what are the primary differences or similarities? How do they make your body feel? Which one is more uncomfortable? Is it possible to take a high enough dose of LSD to the point where it actually feels like a DMT breakthrough? And which substance is more prone to religious or spiritual experiences? Which one has more risk to be physically or mentally dangerous and why? Which one was responsible for causing the most positive changes in my own life? Or which one gave me the most bad trips and potentially physically dangerous reactions? More importantly, Importantly, what does it feel like to consume both DMT and LSD at the same time? And is that even safe? Well, you can continue watching this video to find out the answers to all of those questions and more! And that was my best salesman pitch voice to make sure you guys uh, keep watching. Did it work? Are you still watching? First of all, it needs to be made clear that at best what I'm attempting to do in this video is describe a state of being which must be experienced to be fully understood. <laughs> what the fuck did you get muted? to? <laughs> 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 For example, when you're on a psychedelic, the human brain begins to act in a different way. Regions of the brain that don't normally communicate very much with other regions begin to communicate more, and since our current level of awareness is a byproduct of the functionality of these brains, it means it is fundamentally impossible to fully understand what it's like to be in a psychedelic state, unless you are currently in that state. In other words, a person cannot either imagine or even recall through memories what it is like to be in a specific state, especially if that configuration was caused as a result of consuming a drug which is no longer in your system. That drug acted like an instruction manual informing your brain how to work in a different way. All memories or even thoughts can do is work given the current configuration of our brain. What this means is not only can I not fully encapsulate any psychedelic experience using words and language, but I also can't even really remember myself what it's like to be in that state. How come sometimes you can't remember something? Until you're in it again. Keep in mind that almost everything I'll be explaining stems from my own personal experiences, meaning what may have been true for me may not be true for you. How one drug affects one person can affect another person in a totally different way. Before we dive into the visuals and how they differ, I want to first talk about some more boring shit like how these compounds can be dangerous. More specifically, which one has greater potential for both physical and mental harm? As you may know, both compounds do have great potential to cause intensely disturbing experiences and lead to things like long-lasting trauma or even states of temporary psychosis. More specifically, both can cause what people call a bad trip, and one would imagine that DMT would be more likely to cause a bad trip simply because of how insanely intense it is and overwhelming it can be. But this is not necessarily the case. I would argue, actually, that LSD has more potential to cause a bad trip simply for the fact that LSD lasts 8 to 12 hours, and DMT is all said and done with within 5 
to 20 minutes. A lot more can potentially happen and go wrong in 8 to 12 hours. As for the physical dangers, both compounds are believed to be physically safe and non-addictive. However, those with a weak heart should definitely avoid either one. As for LSD, it actually has another danger attached to it, which is the presence of fake LSD tabs. There have been people who have died as a result of consuming what was sold to them as LSD, but was in fact a more dangerous compound. Both DMT and LSD can be tested with the Ehrlich reagent, which there is a link in the video description. All right, now that I've got that mountain of disclaimers out of the way and necessary safety information, we can jump into the fun stuff. Starting things off with my boy Dimitri, the visual experience can be broken down into what I believe are three primary stages. The first stage of visuals occurs when an individual smokes about 5 to 25 milligrams of DMT. Obviously on the lower end you're going to get less visuals, but these are also the visuals that you will experience on your way to the tunnel or a breakthrough. Stage 2 would be described as the closed eyed visuals that you can experience as you're entering the tunnel, uh, hanging out in that waiting room, or chilling as you watch the loading screen. And finally, three, this is all that ineffable shit that happens during a breakthrough. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is compare the visual effects that are experienced on about, well, I don't know, 10 to 25 milligrams of DMT to the visual effects that can be experienced on about 100 to 150 micrograms of some potent, accurately laid LSD blotter. Starting with Dimitri, on this dose, everything can start looking a lot more rounded. Any sharp edges you're looking at can look more round, not to mention everything looks a lot more symmetrical. Faces in particular can look very beautiful. There's also an increase in pattern recognition to the point where if you're just looking at, say, a plain blank carpet, it can almost appear as though there's these geometric formations pulsating, you know, gently up and down out of it. The entire world can also look a lot more vibrant, colorful, and just bright. Whoa, look at your jump! DMT also has this rather unique effect where it appears as though there's a color filter overlapping your eyes and everything has more hues of orange, red, or green. I can also experience this almost indescribable feeling as if everything just looks more beautiful. It's like everything looks more real than real. Almost as if normal vision is 1080p and with the DMT bouncing around in my brain and tickling my receptors, it has somehow upgraded my visual input to be able to receive 4K. I'm on a boat. Now comparatively, on 100 to 150 micrograms of LSD, instead of everything looking more rounded and symmetrical, things start to breathe and shrink a lot, especially if you're looking at an object up close. However, when you look at something from afar, like say a beautiful landscape, it can almost have this wavy underwater effect, which can kind of make your vision look like it's 2D, like you're looking at a screen instead of actually being fully immersed in three-dimensional reality. People's faces and heads can also start to do some pretty wonky stuff. For example, any creases or wrinkles or moles or freckles on their face can almost appear as if they're being drawn on with watercolors from one second to the next. It's like there's this invisible hand holding a paintbrush that's just sketching everyone into place all the time, making the entire world kind of look like a painting or almost like a cartoon. Well, on LSD, the world can look much brighter and more vibrant. However, on LSD, unlike DMT, the contrast gets turned just way up. Now, unlike with DMT, on LSD, there's no color filters overlapping your vision. And instead of everything looking more real than real, as I said, everything can start looking fake and kind of cartoony. However, even though at times it does feel like you might be in a cartoon, LSD has a similar effect where it feels like your vision has been upgraded to more high definition. The best way I can describe this is on LSD, it feels like you have better peripheral vision, meaning you're getting just a clearer and bigger, more rounded picture of the world. Now, similar to DMT, I have seen the same types of geometry rising up and down out of carpets. However, while on LSD, I've noticed this effect is more prominent, meaning it looks like it's pulsating higher. There is one effect that I find indistinguishable between the two, and that is the visual drifting. That thing where when you look at wood grain or stucco or like an oil painting, where it looks kind of like it's just drifting and flowing out of itself forever like a river. However, this is kind of a very common psychedelic 
psychedelic effect that happens on a lot of compounds. Another common visual effect that I've seen on LSD that's very scarce on DMT, if it appears at all, is what we call tracers or trails. It can simply be described as if I wave my hand like this, you can kind of see a trail of where my hand used to be that goes and slowly disappears. On high doses of LSD, this can be very intense to the point where you can like see where someone's been walking as if you're still looking at them like, and there's like a ghost there. But on DMT, I have rarely ever seen this effect or maybe just in the slightest bit. Now there are more LSD effects that do become prominent on higher doses that I've never seen on DMT. One of them would be when you're looking at just pretty much everything, you can start to see these little black eyeballs that emerge out of the surfaces looking back at you, making it feel as though you're being watched. Like the universe is watching you and then you realize that you are the universe and you're just watching yourself and you are one with everything and then you just melt into this infinite pool of bliss. Well, you can have that kind of universal experience on DMT. It happens in a very different way. Not to mention, usually these eyeballs only start appearing nearing the higher doses, and that's when things get a lot more challenging to describe via language. I suppose the question a lot of you guys might have for me is which one do I personally believe has the prettiest and most enticing visuals? Now this is quite the challenging question to answer. The visuals are so very different. However, if I'm going to be answering this truthfully, I'm just gonna have to give it up to my boy Dimitri. I mean, when I've been on DMT in the past, it has made me feel as though there's this invisible veil overlapping all of reality and the DMT comes in and just pulls that curtain up, allowing me to see this world for how it truly looks. And I was just, you know, too busy always being trapped in my mind and projecting myself into future events and feeling anxiety to ever just be in the now and to see what this world really looks like. But I feel like this same effect can happen when you practice things like meditation or just practice things like increasing your level of awareness. I do feel like these states can be reached on their own and I feel like when you reach them without drugs, they're a lot healthier and more sustainable. But of course, not even smoking DMT can compare to the remarkable visuals that one can experience when they smoke DMT well on the peak of an LSD trip. However, that's something I'm gonna get into in the next part. Actually, on second thought, I think I'm gonna wait for the next part of this video to cover the answers to all the other questions that I asked that I haven't really answered in this one. Primarily because that's going to make this video go on too long, and the video I was working on that I was supposed to release for this next release um, ended up being a total bust, meaning I had to scrap four or five days worth of work, and yeah, I really just need to cut this one a bit short for now. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see the follow-up, meaning the comparison of the mental effects and comparing what a breakthrough on DMT is like to a, I guess, a similar breakthrough type trip on LSD, and also things like the auditory differences, how music sounds and how it makes you feel physically, and you know, all that stuff, let me know in the comments and I will make the second part. I also want to point out that this video is not my 1 million subscriber special. Yes, it's absolutely insane. We have reached a million subscribers. I owe it all to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Never thought I'd reach this point. Um, if you want more updates on what I'm doing and when, and I don't know, just an insight into my crazy life, you can follow me on my new Instagram page, link in the comments. I'd also like to give a big shout out and thank you to everyone who's supporting us on Patreon right now. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say this, but I love you guys and I wouldn't be here without your support. We are so close to our next milestone goal on Patreon and when that's reached, as I've said, I have some really cool trip simulation and uh, computer graphics types animated videos coming out. As I've said, I have an animator that's just waiting for me to give him like the go ahead to get started. So if you wanna help us reach that next Patreon goal, um, pretty much if you pledge a dollar or two a month, like the equivalent of buying me a cup of coffee for the month, and if say 800 more of my 1 million subscribers did that, we would already be there. So hey, what are you waiting for? Pledge to me on Patreon and help me hire new people to make this content even more awesome.